Hey there, teammates and teen talkers! Kumusta? Today is September 23, 2020. It's a special and meaningful day, especially for Catholics like us. Ayan, lalo na yung mga devotees ni St. Padre Pio kasi ngayon po ay ang feast day ni St. Padre Pio. Para dun po sa nakakakilala sa aming pamilya, you would already know by now that we are Catholics and we are devotees of St. Padre Pio. Kaya nga, pray, hope, don't worry. Diba? Laging sinasabi ni Padre Pio yon. Uh, alam nyo rin ho that as devotees, we would uh, always donate uh, an image of either St. Anthony or St. Padre Pio to our chosen parish or to any place. Ito nga, this year during the pandemic ng January, uh, when we went to Batangas, nag-donate po kami ng isang image ni St. Padre Pio doon sa kanilang chapel. So, ganun po ginagawa namin bilang mga deboto. And nagsimula ang devotion ko years ago nung ako ay humiling kay Papa Jesus, kay God the Father, na magkaroon po ng baby, pangalawang baby, at kung pwede sana, ay boy. Ayan. So, through the intercession of Padre Pio, nag-domina po ako sa kanya dito po sa St. Uh, Padre Pio Libis, no? sa Center of St. Padre Pio sa Libis. Quezon City, doon po ako nagpunta, doon ako ng novena for nine consecutive Tuesdays. And yun nga, nag-grant po ang aking wish. Si Padre Pio po kasi is a man of prayer. He's truly a saint worth emulating. Yung kanyang uh, life of prayer. Alam niyo ba na si Padre Pio? He would pray the rosary not just once, not just twice, but 30 to 60 times a day. Imagine! Kami po na nagsimula ang pandemic, nag-rosary niya kami every single night without fail. Simula nitong March 15, before the pandemic, paminsan-minsan. Pero ito po, since the pandemic, every single night po yan, we would pray the rosary as a family. Pero si Padre Pio, imagine, 30 minimum times in a day, ah, ganun karami ang mga tao na yung pray niya. And he truly loves our Mama Mary bilang our, no, the mother of Jesus. So, dapat yun ang mga characteristics ng isang saint na dapat nating tularan. At kaya naman mayroong mga santo who live during our time dahil may mga videos na nagpapatunay ng kanyang stigmata, na na-experience siya ang wounds and passion of Christ. Yan. So, may, may visual uh, reminder para sa ating lahat. Ano? So, yun din ang nagsaserve as a reminder that the saints walk on earth because they have been sent by God. Diba? Para po paalalahanan sa ating lahat o paalalahanan tayong lahat to pray and believe and spread the faith. Ganon. Diba? Parang sila yung mga army of God. Diba? So, yun. Anyway, uh, itong vlog na ito ay tungkol sa pagpunta namin Oo, sa church, sa St. Pius of Pietro China Church during its dedication day. We were invited by our kumare, Maring Elizabeth De Lemos. Hi, Mare. Thank you for inviting us to experience yung church na it took several years then para i-build through many fundraising activities. And isa sa mga fundraising activities na yun na hinos po namin ni Julius ay yung fundraising dinner with Jo Marie Chan as a special performer. Andun din si Navina Morales na devoted din ni Padre Pio at si Nikki Valdez ay Nikki Habina na mga celebrity devotees din ni Padre Pio. Si Miss Ai Ai, the Las Alas ay devoted din. Pray hope don't worry. O, sino pa? Si Shaina Magdayaw is also a devotee of Padre Pio at nagpunta na nga siya sa San Giovanni Ritondo many times. Uh, ano, Chinita Princess. Kim Chu, sa isa sa mga vlogs niya, nakita ko na meron siyang picture ni Padre Pio dun sa altar. Devoted din pala si Chinita Princess Kim Chu. Anyway, kung kayo po ay tulad namin na mahilig bumisita sa iba't ibang mga simbahan o di kaya mahilig magpunta sa iba't ibang mga pilgrimages, para sa inyo po itong vlog na ito. Ito po yung nagpunta kami sa St. Pius of Pietro China Church dyan po sa may Paranaque. Para doon sa mga taga-Paranaque, I'm sure familiar na kayo sa simbahan na ito. Dyan kayo nagsisimba kung parish nyo yan. Pero doon sa mga... Uh, subscribers ko na nasa area lang na yun, pero hindi pa napupuntahan o nabibisita yung church na yan, please do so and try to uh, drive by one of these days or who knows, baka makasilip kayo sa loob na maganda po yung loob ng simbahan. Today, June 8th, is the dedication day of St. Pio Parish Church here inside Severina Subdivision in Paranaque. You can come here 
It's open to all. It's along Garnet Street, Severina Subdivision. It's a beautiful church. Sabi nga ni Padre Pio, pray, hope, and don't worry. God bless all of us. Thank you, Jesus, for dying for our sins. Thank you, Mama Mary. Thank you, St. Joseph. And then Padre Pio is there. One of God's armies here on earth. St. Padre Pio sent to us to remind us of Jesus' love and passion and mercy. Pray, hope, don't worry. Uh, the parish, you will see the different stages of Padre Pio's life. From when he was young, and was, that was the first time that uh, he felt the stigmata, but he refused because he wasn't ready yet. And then when he was ready, so ito siya as a young priest. Stigmata, the five wounds of Christ. See? So, ayan siya, you know. And ito na siya, the older Padre Pio. So this is walking near the hall. Padre Pio with the friars. The last two glass and then Padre Pio saying mass. When Padre Pio was saying mass before, the malabas yung wounds of Christ, his hands would bleed. Kaya siya nagsusot ng gloves while celebrating mass. So you'll see the beautiful stained glass here inside the parish. Come visit.
So, nandito po ako ngayon sa loob ng aming prayer room inside our home, Casa Ocello. Doon po sa mga nakapanood na ng aking earlier vlogs, nag-vlog po ako inside our prayer room. Pinakita ko yung iba't ibang mga things dito sa prayer room, yung rosary collection and all that. If you want to revisit my vlog, I will uh, type the link dito sa description box para mapanood nyo rin yung vlog na yon yung aming prayer room at makita nyo yung mga history ng ito, yung luhuran namin, yung mga paintings, yung mga santo dito sa loob, etc. etc. Pakita ko lang yung ibang mga memorabilia na nandito sa prayer room. Tulad dito, itong pillow na nabili namin in one of our pilgrimages sa San Giovanni Rotondo, where Padre Pio spent his life there as a priest, celebrating masses there, and that's where he spent the rest of his life, last days of his life, until he passed away. Doon po din namin nakita yung tomb of Padre Pio sa San Giovanni Rotondo sa Italia or sa Italy ay parang napuntahan nyo na rin yung tomb ni St. Padre Pio. At ito naman ay ang drawing ni Julius. Alam mo natin na bilang uh, panata ni Julius every Good Friday ay pinipainting po niya yung face ni Jesus Christ. So again, kung avid followers kayo namin, you would know na yun po yung panata namin bilang isang pamilya. And in one of the Good Fridays, itong April 18, 2014, hindi lamang po yung face ni Jesus Christ ang inisketch ni Julius, kundi pati na rin ang face ni Padre Pio. Ayan, nasa Sibuyata kami ng time na to. 
And uh, dito sa prayer room, makikita nyo yung iba't ibang mga faces of Jesus na pinainting na ni Julius to na dito nasa likod ko siyang nagpaint niya. So I hope you like this vlog. Ito na si Neo, ang pinagdasal ko kay Padre Pio years ago. Ang tangkad na o, oh, nandito na sa chin ko. Tumangkad ko na ngayong pandemic niyo. Hmm, yan ang pinagdasal ko. Kaya ang pangalan mo niya ay Antonio Francesco. Antonio because of our devotion kay St. Anthony and Francesco because the real name of Padre Pio is Francesco. Neo for short, di ba? What do you want to tell them, Neo, yung ating mga subscribers about pray, pray hope, hope and don't worry. Ito, pray hope and don't worry because God is good all the time and He listens to your prayers all the time in His own wonderful time, di ba? Kaya faith, Hope and love. Always pray, right, Neo? Yes. Oh, alam niyo si Neo, nagkaroon po ng fever. Oh, a day before Padre Pio's birthday. Kapon, di ba? Pero because of God's mercy and grace, you have been healed, di ba? Jesus Christ healed you, Neo. And ngayon, galing ka na. Ano na temperature mo? 37. Around 36 and 37. Oh, di ba? You have been healed, Neo. Thank you guys. So I'll see you in the next vlog. God bless you and your family. Stay safe, stay happy, stay healthy, right? Yes. See ya. Let's pray the healing prayer. Beloved Padre Pio, today I come to add my prayer to the thousands of prayers offered to thee every day by those who love and venerate thee. They ask for cures and healings earthly and spiritual blessings, and peace for body and mind. And because of thy friendship with the Lord, He heals those who ask to be healed and forgives those, those who forgive. In your kindness, please help me with my own special request for the grace of healing and deliverance of my beloved who is in pain and suffering at this very moment and above all with thy prayer may god grant me the grace of living in conformity with the death of jesus to arrive at the glory of the resurrection bless me and my loved ones in the name of the father and of the son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.